right guys, I'm back. Coming to you from the STEM lab again. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about Indian corn, okay? Now, Indian corn grows like regular corn, but it's a little different. It's not like the corn on the cob we eat. As you can see in the picture, it comes in multiple colors. Now I happen to have some here. I have a yellow Indian corn you can see it's got all different colors of yellow on it. I have a red Indian corn, and it's very dark red, very dark red, almost purple. And I have one that is multicolor. Isn't that cool? It has yellows and whites and greens and purples, and some are almost blue. So corn has this part around it, which is usually down over the ear of corn, we call this an ear of corn, grows on the stalk up like this, and then when it's ready to pick, they will fall and they will hang on the stalk, and the stalk will get very dried out. So any corn, Indian corn gets picked, they pull all the husk back, and normally we would break this off to eat it. They pull it back and they hang it up, and it gets dry and very, very hard. This is not squishy, this is hard hard. We're going to do something interesting. I have a question for you. What would happen if I laid this in water? What do you think would happen? Okay, let's give it a shot. We're going to take an ear of our Indian corn and we're going to place it in some water and leave it and see what happens. So I have my multicolor, I have my red, I have the yellow. I think for this experiment, I'm gonna use the yellow, and then you have the multicolor and the red that you can pass around in your classroom and do your observational drawings and writings with. And that way you can touch some and feel some so you know what it feels like. And kind of what size it is too, because these are actually pretty big. All right, so I'm gonna set up my experiment. So I'm gonna use a clear tub right here, and I have my ear corn, I have some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this corn, and because this is so long, the husk is long, I'm going to try and break that off. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, it came off very easily. There's the husk. So we'll save that. I'm going to take my ear corn, and I'm going to place it down in my tub, right in the bottom, just like that. And I'm just going to add some water to it. I'm not even going to add that much. I think that's enough. So I only added water up on the husk or on the corn just a little bit. Now today is 1028. Make sure you document today's date because when you come to observe this it's probably going to be a different date and you're going to make sure that you're documenting dates with observational drawings about what may or may not happen with our ear of corn. Good luck! 